in the case of private channels, how we would do that is the first thing we're going to do is uh, create a client. And this is using the AWS SDK version three, the IBS client. Now we need to create an input object for our call to create channel. So I call it create channel input, give it a name. And we'll call this private demo private IBS channel zero. Now we need to specify the latency mode. And as we've talked about before, there's both standard and basic. I will choose standard this time. Uh, I, I, my apologies. Actually, the latency mode is low. The channel type is standard or basic. So we'll do standard for the type. And the final option here is a Boolean. And that is just a simple authorized. Default being false, this time we're going to set true because we want this to be authorized. We want it to be private. Next, we create a command. And that is a create channel command. And we pass it the input. And finally, we get a response by sending that request on the client. So we'll send that and we'll log the response. So if we run this, we should, editor here gave me the common JS import. Uh, and what I'm got this project configured for is the ES6 imports. So that's a quick little error there. So if we run that, we get a response and we now have a new channel. So we have our ARN, we have our ingest endpoint, and we have our playback URL and our stream key. So if we want to broadcast to this channel, we could use the web broadcast SDK to create our own experience. We could go to OBS, Streamlabs, some of these third-party options. For a quick test, we can also plug this into stream.ibs.rocks and paste in my ingest endpoint stream key click stream. And so it says we're live. So we have just a confirmation here that our channel is actually live. So if we go to the console and take a look at it, we can confirm that our channel is live. We're unable to see the, the playback in the console because this is a private channel. And we'll actually create a local version of the playback. Add in a, a video tag to my page, include the IVS player script version 116, create an instance of the IBS player, IBS player.create, attach the HTML video element that we included in the page below. We will then load our stream by passing stream URL and we'll call play. Let's also add an event listener to the IBS player. Let's look, listen for IBS player dot player event type error. Every time an error is triggered on this stream, for whatever reason, this handler will be called. For now, we're going to just log out the error. And we start that up get in the browser. We open up our console and reload the page. We got an error. Invalid playback auth token error authorization is the type. So good. Created a channel. We secured it as being private. And we tried to play it and got an error exactly what we want and what we would expect on a private channel. The next step, create our public and private key pair. So we can create public private key pairs a couple different ways. We can use OpenSSL. Another way to do it, come here to the AWS console, playback keys, and click create playback key. And if we give this a name, we will call it Bob. Click create. We can see that a private key was downloaded to our machine. And then a completely irresponsible and un insecure manner, I will store that in plain text <laughs> in my node script here. Please don't ever do this. Uh, I'm only doing it in the interest of time. And we're going to use that in just a minute to sign our job. The only other thing we need to be part of our payload is our channel ARN, channel ARN. So we'll add that. We have our ARN, we have our PK, private key. Now let's create a function to generate a token. We have get token, and actually, I'm gonna throw those into the function. We also need to make sure we've installed JSON web token library. That way we can use that to sign the token. So let's create a payload, which is just an object. And in that object, we need to have a channel arm, pass the channel arm. 
with that value. Access control allow origin. In this case, I'm just going to give it a star, an asterisk, so that it's wide open. And then you need an expires key. And for that, we'll call date.now. We will add 60 seconds. So we have our payload. And now we can generate our token, import JWT from JSON web token, and use jot.sign, asset our payload, and our private key, and object. And the object has to tell it what the signing algorithm we want to use is. In this case, we need to use SHA-384. And that's the end of our function. So now we can call that function, console.log, and we'll make a call to get token. I'll open up a new terminal here and leave that local server running. And, and I've got a token. Excellent. If we come back to our listener page, but I'm going to go ahead and add a token prompt on this page. And pass that token on, it's just added as a URL variable to the stream URL. We're still getting our error because we haven't pasted in the token yet. So we still have our error. But if we come over to here, so if we generate a new token, we copy it, we reload the page and we paste it. We now have authorized playback on our Amazon IVS live stream. 